Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Lincoln Riley, this USC program, continue to roll on the recruiting trail as they land another commitment in this 2025 class coming from three-star running back from the state of Texas, Riley Wormley. And where you start talking about Riley Wormley after diving into the film is this is a running back that has the ability to make those game-changing plays Every single time he has the football in his hands, you look at the numbers from the 6A level in the state of Texas, 85 carries for over 900 yards, 19 touchdowns. You start crunching the numbers on some of those those stats right there, over 10 yards per carry. But more importantly, he has scored a touchdown on over 20% of his carries his junior year. The production is extremely impressive. This is a guy that also runs an 11-2 in the 100-meter dash. Really like this fit and really like this player for USC. Want to dive into what Riley Wormley brings to this USC offense. Take a little bit look at that film before we do it, as always. Just want to say... Thank you to you guys in a truly massive shout out to the USC fans. It has been a blast covering this program on the recruiting trail. Spent pretty much our whole Sunday last weekend breaking down USC commitments. The amount of support you guys have shown the boys has been absolutely amazing. Cannot thank you guys enough. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Hopefully you guys are having a phenomenal Easter Sunday. And without further ado, let's get into... Riley Wormley. Before we talk about Riley Wormley, I want to focus on, I mean, something that we've talked about for USC on the recruiting trail the last couple of weeks, and that is what they're doing from a national standpoint on the recruiting trail. I mean, you go back to last Sunday, they land two of the top kids from the state of Georgia. They go into the state of Florida and land a top 10 prospect in Hilton Stubbs, and then also have gone into the state of Texas, landing their second commitment in the last seven days from the state of Texas, arguably some of the most talented states in the country, USC is going to and plucking out that top talent. That's exactly what we want to see from USC on the recruiting trail. You make no mistake about it. This USC brand has so much to offer. You can go out pretty much to every state you want and go grab that top talent. Exactly what Lincoln Riley has been doing. Now, Riley Wormley, getting into him, one, Anthony Jones recruited him hard at TCU. This is a guy that had offers from Texas, Oklahoma, TCU. Anthony Jones comes over to USC, able to lock in the commitment. And you start looking at the athletic profile, a little bit of an undersized running back that, in my mind, when you watch the film, doesn't necessarily play undersized. But what I want to focus on is what Riley Wormley can do from an athletic trait standpoint. This is a guy that runs an 11-2 in the 100-meter dash. You see that speed show up on the film. But what kind of separates Riley Wormley is the ability for him to get to the second level and not only use that straight line speed, but also be a guy that can make people miss, has nice short area quickness in terms of making second level defenders miss and wants to go north and south. And that's something that's kind of rare from running backs at the high school level when you have the speed that Riley Wormley has. They like to go east and west. Riley Wormley is a guy that when he sees a guy, he he gets downhill. And that's something you like to see from these running backs. You get into the film here, Really, really exciting prospect to watch on the film. Not only a really good feel for picking through traffic, kind of knowing what hole to really hit, but this is a guy that, again, game-changing speed and game-changing plays. Really, whenever he has the football in his hands, you start firing up the film. Riley Wormley, when you take a bad angle, if you're a safety, you're going to pay for it, right? This safety comes in not respecting Riley Wormley's speed. And Riley Wormley, just off to the races, you see that straight line speed on full display on a lot of these carries. But when you get more into the film, you start seeing him do a really good job of picking his way through traffic. Again, finding that hole, I'm going to hit that hole hard, go north and south. And again, when I have green grass in front of him, not many people are catching Riley Wormley. This is one of my favorite plays that you see on the film because you see a couple different things. One, really good feel to when to bounce it out, when to hit the hole. He ends up bouncing this one out. But the second aspect of this run that I think is huge is, yes, it's awesome to have that straight line speed, but at that running back spot, you have to be able to make people miss in space as well. Riley Wormley, really good change of direction, making people miss at the second level, getting in and out of his breaks. That's exactly what you want to see from a running back at the high school level, working his way up to that college football level. And again, every time he touches the football, 
seemingly good things happen. And when you have, we talk about explosive plays all the time. When you have running backs that can help create those explosive plays, help really create those game changing plays. That's exactly what you want in a running back. And again, bad angles, that's pretty much deadly against a guy like Riley Wormley because when you take a bad angle, he's just going to run right by you. And you take a look at USC and what they're doing on the recruiting trail. It's been a wild seven days. I mean, we've broken down every single commitment, but this was a USC program that, I mean, eight days ago had one commitment in the fold from Julian Lewis. You fast forward to today, they got six commitments. You start scrolling down in this 2025 class, again, only six commitments up to a top 12 recruiting ranking, according to 24 seven sports. You got a couple of kids from Georgia, your top three commits are from the state of Georgia. You go down into the state of Florida for Hilton Stubbs, and then you got Gus Cardova and Riley Wormley from the state of Texas. Now, the conversation that I want to have with the USC fans, we've seen USC go and take two running backs in a class. Riley Wormley, one of the, the more spacier backs, right? He's not necessarily that big bruising running back that's 220 pounds that gets it done between the tackles. I wonder if Anthony Jones, Lincoln, Riley are looking to add another running back to this 2025 class to kind of balance out what Riley Wormley brings to this offense. The guy I want to take a look at real quick is from modern day, Jordan Davis, and two things I want to talk about. One, we've talked at length about USC recruiting their backyard. Jordan Davison from modern day, one of my favorite running backs in this 2025 class, is much more that complimentary running back to a guy like Riley Wormley. Jordan Davison up to, I think, 215 pounds. You turn on the film with Jordan Davison between the tackles, really, really good ability to absorb contact and be that physical running back for this USC program. I wonder if you see USC go after another running back in this class that brings a little bit more physicality to that backfield. Jordan Davison right in your backyard Seems like a really big opportunity and kind of reading through some tea leaves with Jordan Davison was considered a pretty strong Ohio State lean for a while. His running backs coach, Tony Alford, goes to Michigan. And so I think that gives USC a little bit of an opportunity to maybe make some headway with running back Jordan Davison as well. But Riley Wormley, a great start to building that running back class in 2025. Wanted to hop on, give you guys some of my takes on what he brings to this USC offense. Again, can't thank you guys enough for rocking with the fellas. The commitment sweatshirt, getting a lot of work the last couple days. Appreciate y'all. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later.